G'day, John Kenya here. Today we're just going to look at where those elusive power outlets are in the footwell. Um, there's nothing really telling us much about it. Some people have expected plugs and all sorts of things, but it's just two concealed wires. Now, I just want to say, before I start with any of this, I am not an auto electrician, okay? So you can take this advice or leave it, but I'm just showing you what I've done. Okay, let's have a look. I'm just going to go on the driver's side, it's identical on both sides, but I've already connected up uh, my radio and whatnot to the driver's side, so I'll have a look at that in a moment. But the first thing we've got to do is remove this cover here. Again, it just clips off, finger easily, comes off, no worries about that. Then we've got to undo this screw here. Now, I suggest everyone gets themselves a set of torque, uh, uh, torque spanners because everything on this car is uh, uses torque. So this is a T27 torque. So we just remove this screw here very easily. Don't lose the washer there. Pop that aside. Now once the screw's out, just give it a bit of a tug up the top there just to loosen it a bit. And then you've just got to ease it out from underneath there like that and just pop her out over the top. It can be a bit, feel a bit stiff but don't hesitate, it's just clipped in. So that comes out and then we've got the wires. So what are we looking for? Taped onto here you'll find those two wires there. Just take this off. That's what you're looking for. Those two wires. Black ones are negative. The purple and green is the positive. They've got a sealed cap on them. So you can then use those wires to power whatever you want. I'm actually going to run a, uh, a reversing camera, which I'll plug in up the top. So I'll be using the power for this for the reversing camera. So they're switched from these switches here, interior. So interior two is the right hand side and interior one is the left hand side. So these are also already fused. Um, so you don't need to worry about fusing necessarily from here. So on the passenger side, what I actually did is I connected up this outlet here, which has got a couple of USB points and a cigarette lighter point. Probably won't use uh, the much. What I will be using this for is I'll be running my iPad up the top with my uh, mapping software on it and uh, seeing as I'll be running it all day probably, I'll just want to plug it into a USB point there. So I've kept it up as high as I can. Fortunately, I've had to put two screws through this and a little hole to get the wire in, but it's well out of the way and inconspicuous. So what you'll need to do is uh, cut this seal off here because it totally seals the wire ends there. The way I've connected it, and as I said, I'm not an auto electrician, I have stripped both ends of the wire, wound them together and soldered them together as well. Now, here's a tip, instead of using normal heat shrink on them, take yourself down to the local marine shop, uh, if you're in Australia, BCF, and go to their boating section and get some of these, or similar. And what they are, is they're a, an adhesive dual wall shrink, okay? So, they've got, they're heavy duty, and they have an adhesive in them, that when you heat them up, the adhesive, the adhesive is activated and you end up uh, with a fully sealed waterproof joint, not like normal heat shrink, but the glue inside melts, goes around the connection and actually glues the heat shrink over the cable. Ideal for boating, ideal for this. So we want to keep all of our connections, switches and things up as high as we can and certainly we want this wire sealed up with that marine stuff so that if we do get water in our car, it's not going to get into this uh, connection. Okay, hope that's helpful. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'll keep, uh, keep the tips coming and uh, as I said, there'll be some interesting stories once we get in the Australian Outback in the next week or so. Okay, thanks again.